Okay, so let's have this topic. So for this loss of radical, then we have this given. So simplify the following expression. And we have this, the fifth root of 32 m to the power 10 n to the power 15. So first, we need to rewrite this given. And for this 32, since 32 is equal to 2 times 2, times 2, times 2, and times 2, and this is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so 2 to the power 5. So this becomes the fifth root of 2 to the power 5. Then for this m to the power 10, so we need to find the factors of 10, that one number is 5. So this is fifth root of m, and 10 is 2 times 5. Then for this n to the power 15, so factors of 15, that one number is 5. So this is fifth root of n, and 15 is 3 times 5. Then to simplify, so we can cancel now this 5 and cancel this fifth root, cancel this 5 and cancel this fifth root, cancel this 5 and cancel this fifth root. So we have 2, then m to the power 2, and n to the power 3. Then for this given, so first, we need to rewrite this given as the square root of 24 t to the power 5 then over 3 t to the power 3. Then we can simplify this 24 over 3. So 24 divided by 3, that's 8. So we have the square root of 8. And this t to the power 5 over t to the power 3. So you just need to subtract the exponents. So this 5 minus 3 and that's equal to 2. So this is 8. Then t to the power 2. Then for this 8, so we can rewrite 8 as 4 times 2. And this 4 is equal to 2 to the power 2. So we have the square root of 2 to the power 2. Then times the square root of 2. And for t to the power 2, so we have the square root of t to the power 2. Then to simplify, so we can cancel now this 2 and the square root and cancel this 2 and the square root so the remaining is 2 times t then bring down this square root of 2 then for this given so first we need to rewrite this given as the 6 root of 2, 5, 6, then x to the power 7 over 2 times x. Then to simplify, so this 2, 5, 6 divide by 2. So this 2, 5, 6 divide by 2 equals, that's 1, 2, 8. So this is 6 root of 1 to 8 then this x to the power 7 over x to the power 1 so subtract the exponent so 7 minus 1 that's equal to 6 so this is x to the power 6 then we can write now this 1 to 8 since 1 to 8 is equal to 64 times 2 and this 64 is equal to 2 to the power 6 
because 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 6 twos, that's equal to 64. So 64 times 2. So this becomes the 6 root of 2 to the power 6. Then times the 6 root of 2. And also the 6 root of x to the power 6. Then to simplify, so cancel the 6. Cancel the 6. So we have 2x. Then bring down the 6 root of 2. Then for this given, so we can write this given as the square root of 1, 4, 4. Then m to the power 6 over the square root of n to the power 8. Then to simplify, so this 1, 4, 4, that's the square root of 12 to the power 2. Because 12 times 12 is 1, 4, 4. Then we need to rewrite this 6 with exponent 2. So this becomes the square root of m. Then 3 times 2. Then over. So rewrite this 8 with exponent 2. So the square root of n to the power 4 times 2. Then to simplify, so cancel this 2, cancel this 2, and cancel this 2. So we have 12, then m to the power 3, then over n to the power 4. Then for this given, so we have the fifth root, and this 4, 8, 6 divided by 2. So, 4, 8, 6, divide by 2, equals, that's 2, 4, 3. So, this is 2, 4, 3, then copy, a to the power 10, then over, so just copy, b to the power 5, then to simplify, so we need to rewrite this 2, 4, 3 with exponent 5. And since this 2, 4, 3 is equal to 3 times 3, times 3, times 3, and times 3, or that's 3 to the power 5. So we have the fifth root of 3 to the power 5. And for this a to the power 10, so we need to rewrite this 10 with exponent 5. So this becomes the fifth root of a to the power 2 times 5, then this b to the power 5, so this is the fifth root of b to the power 5, then to simplify, so cancel now this 5, cancel this 5, and cancel this 5, so this is 3, a to the power 2 over, B.